You have to assume that there's a whole collection of things that fit that frame for right now, which is that 200 years in the future, we're going to look back on ourselves and be like, God, we were so stupid. And one of the things that we've come across is this theory of expanding Earth. Have you heard of it? No. Well, it sounds completely insane, but back, you, you mentioned Wegener at some point. Mm -hmm. uh, and around the same time, there was another gentleman named Carey. And the two of them had very different ideas about how the continents came to be because they're still trying to exp explain these overlapping stratigraphic structures and everything. Mm -hmm. And Carey's idea was that if you just make the Earth smaller and leave the plates the same size, that they'll all fit together really nicely. Carey at the time was saying that the Earth was smaller, and so the reason that the the ocean floors are 200 to, you know, at some small places, 400 million years old is because as the earth expanded, that was the new crust that was formed. Well, there's some really cool stuff in planetary science right now concerning alternative models for the formation of earth-like planets in mm -hmm. terms of evolution from Neptune-like planets. There is a case to be made that, uh, and you can do a back of the envelope uh, calculation on this, mm -hmm. that the compressive energy of smashing a rock at the center of a Neptune, uh, if that atmosphere is relieved, either through photoevaporation or some cataclysmic process, that there would be some elastic rebound that could potentially result in that kind of expansive process that, that um, Carrie didn't have access to when he was imagining this. 